You'll get Essen, 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 Essen. You might remember the round-the-clock activities. What was the most famous of them all? Well, Joel Siegel has the answer in his special series, Memories of the Catskills. Joel? That's right, Greg. Today, activities. You mean there were things to do in the Catskills you couldn't, couldn't put between two slices of bread? Yes, on Passover, you had to put them between two slices of matzah. But the day was so filled with activities, the idea was after your vacation, you needed a vacation. And that's true for a million, Memories of the Catskills. People eat so much food up there, they have developed a new disease there. Anorexia ponderosa. <laughs> People check into the hotel as guests, they check out as cargo. Does he exaggerate? Not by much. But there were other things to do in the Catskills. Swimming, tennis, canoeing, ping pong, golf. What's your handicap? I live with him, I need another one. Two kinds of horseshoes, off horses and on horses. Dance lessons, dance bands, dance teams, and Simon says. Simon says forward stretch one, overhead two. Simon says overhead two, wave your hands, bye bye. <laughs> Simon says. 10 o'clock in the morning after Simon. breakfast oh, was Simon, Simon says. says. And, and it was wonderful activity because left. the people that ate all that food at breakfast said, oh, we're gonna play, and they thought it was like calisthenics. <laughs> they went left, they went right, they went up, they lifted a leg and they said, look at this, we worked our breakfast. Now let's go to lunch. <laughs> Simon says, everybody, bend back one. Back is the other way, honey. And Goldstein, now at the Raleigh in the Pines, is still helping well-fed customers work off that poach two, fry one, pickled herring, four blints, preserves or sour cream, preserves and sour cream, locks and bagels brunch. Simon says, this is before eating at the Raleigh. <laughs> Simon says, this is after. Goldstein was the social director, called the Tumler in the Catskills, a Yiddish word that means to create a frenzy. Danny Kaye was a Tumler. So was Jerry Lewis. So was Sid Caesar. So was Malzie Lawrence. We used to get, like, the entire hotel to play games, pass the orange underneath the neck from one to another, you know, one of these things, dance with the broom and all these. Entertainment went 24 hours a day. It was fantastic. I would come out in a tuxedo at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, get up on the diving board, walk out to the end of the board and say, Here's our activities for tonight and the show, and I would misstep and I would fall in the pool in a tuxedo. They thought it was the funniest thing they ever heard of. Sports were a big activity in the Catskills, so a baseball game with red buttons and Buddy Hackett. Hotels had their own basketball teams. Kutcher's hired a young bellhop named Will Chamberlain. There were buildings with relatively low windows, and he wouldn't even go into the room. He'd have somebody open the window, and he'd put the bag in the room. You know me. You're a... Uh all Grossinger pal. Championship fighters trained in the Catskills. That's how Lou Goldstein met heavyweight champ Rocky Marciano, who was a Grossinger's regular. And in 40 years of Simon Says, Goldstein says, the championship moment was the day Marciano ended up with a six foot five inch, 250 pound guest who didn't recognize the champ. I said to the guy, Simon Says, give him a shot in the stomach. The guy says, oh, I'll kill him. I said, that's all right, don't worry about it. The guy gives him a shot in the stomach, and Rocky just stands there. I said, now, I have to have him do it to you. I said, Simon says, Rocky, give him a left and a right. Now, a fighter can take that snap and come very close to your chin and stop. Rocky took a shot and snap. The guy fainted. Well, the place was hysterical. We revived him. Yeah, they revived him just in time for lunch. And that's tomorrow. Food and the Catskills. Mmm! We'll take you back to the days when New York had four major league fields, Yankee Stadium, Ebbets Field, the Polo Grounds, and the dining room at Grossinger's. Tomorrow will take you to a more perfect, more innocent time when no one had heard of cholesterol. <laughs>